Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Function Foundations Lesson 7, Key Features of Functions Home Review, Part 4. Uh, please, please make sure to catch Parts 1, 2, and 3. Uh, part 1 and 2 were question number 1, which is a very involved question, with uh, quite a bit of covering about uh, functions. And Part 3 is uh, question number 2, which also had uh, some another graph to consider as well. So here we're with part question number three. And so um, we have the following, draw a graph of y equals f of x that matches the following characteristics. So <clears throat> the graph should be increasing from negative eight. Uh, negative eight is less than x is less than negative four. And from negative one to, to positive five, it should be increasing but then decreasing from negative four to negative one. And so the other thing is also is that we have f of negative eight is equal to negative five. And so that's one of the first points we're gonna cover, all right? So f of negative eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a y value negative five. One, two, three, four, five. So it should be this point right here. Okay, so we're over here, all right, so we're gonna be doing point kind of big. So that takes care of this here. And zero is at negative six. Okay, so that was negative eight. Here's a zero at negative six, which means in this case, negative six comma zero is one point. Uh, zero at negative two, so negative two comma zero is another point. And at three, so at three comma zero, we have another point. So whenever we're given um, a situation like this to kind of sketch a graph, and uh, again, um, it could be uh, a piecewise function of just linear pieces, or it could be curves, of you, as long as it has the characteristics I have of increasing along from negative eight, x goes negative eight to negative four. And then of course from negative one to positive five. Uh, so, um, we have this, but the coordinates should definitely be applied. Now, we also have an absolute max of 7, okay? So that would mean the highest point of this graph will meet at 7, an absolute min of negative 5. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. We already have a point at a y value negative 5, and that's negative 8 comma negative 5. And now having absolute value, absolute minimum negative five mean doesn't mean doesn't really mean that our uh, only one point could have a lowest value of y negative five. It just means the lowest value for y along the entire function would be negative five. So we definitely have what that one point, and that one point is at in this case negative eight comma negative five. But we can have another one, right? But that satisfies our condition. All right. And we're increasing uh, increasing from negative 8, x equals negative 8 to x equals negative 4. So somewhere over here, somewhere over here, negative 4. So actually what I want to do is I'm going to now, in green, just kind of draw a line going upwards until we get to negative 4. Now, a maximum of... Of seven. So what I can do is add four comma seven. Oops, at four comma seven, I can make that my maximum. Again, it doesn't have to be the only maximum, but that's our absolute maximum. So we definitely go in the highest this graph could go is seven. So maybe at four comma seven. One, two, three. No, sorry, uh, neg four comma seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a point. Oops, point. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we can establish this point here and just connect all the way up here, okay? And then come downwards, okay? So now going downwards, we're gonna be decreasing all the way to negative one. So x equals negative one. So from this point here, the highest point, I can go to keep going down and then stop going past to this point here. Let me just make sure I go through that point. Should just... Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to kind of make sure. I can't do anything with my fingers. I wish I had a, had a stylus that fit. But of course, my computer doesn't necessarily have a stylus that works. So who knows? All right, so all the way down to x equals negative 1. And then you know, it says here it's going to increase from negative 1 to 5. So negative 1 to 5. So when x is negative 1, all the way to 5. And so this is 3 four and five and I'm gonna stop right here. 
Now, could I have gone all the way up to the seven? I could have done that too, all right? But I, I want to, you know, in this case, because it said it had a, um, it had an absolute maximum at seven. And so that maximum would be at, we call that, uh, in this case, negative four comma seven. Could I have made this a uh, maximum at, f at a five comma seven? Yeah, sure, I could have. So, but I didn't have to, all right? And in this case, and, and what happens is I only took it from the x values from negative 8 to positive 5. So this coordinate, the very rightmost coordinate, would be I picked 5, comma 2. But does it have to be that way? No, it could be, it definitely can be, you know, any point you want. I made this point here, this relative min, to be negative 1, comma 2. All right, because at that relative min, because right before x is negative 1, like x goes negative 1.1, uh, it's still moving downwards. But then after x goes negative 1, like negative 0.9, we're moving upwards. And so we have met the absolute minimum of negative 5, absolute maximum of 7, decreasing from negative 1 to negative, x goes negative 4 to negative 1, and then increasing from negative 8 to negative 4 and negative 1 to positive 5. Okay? And so now your graph can look quite different, but it has to have these requirements, though. It has to have these requirements. All right? And again, we have our zeros at neg 6, 0. We have a 0 at neg 2, 0. We have a 0 at 3, 0. All right? Okay, and now your graph might look a little different. All right? But in this case, very important points to have. I would definitely say in this case, very important points you definitely need are going to be the zeros. And then, of course, have an absolute max and absolute min. All right, so that's the idea. All right, that was question number, question number uh, three. Let's continue on to question number four. All right, so continuous function has domain of negative seven to positive ten. And so, we see in this case for the continuous function of negative 7 is less equal to x, less equal to 10, has selected values shown in the table below. The function is actually two zeros, and those two zeros would be when y equals 0, here at negative 1, 0, and at 7, 0. A relative max at negative 4, 12, all right, so that's a relative max. to max and then a relative min at 5 comma next 6 so relative min all right so we kind of want to know when is our in the interval where f of x is decreasing okay so let us now consider the situation here well we are going to look at the y values okay so when it says decreasing okay when f x decreasing Okay, and I'll just kind of type it here it's just for note wise. All right, the function is decreasing as the values of y continue downwards. Downwards as we move to the right. Of the, of the of the graph okay and so as we move to the right graph we have a relative max at 12. when we have a relative max and that's a key thing here very important very very important so our relative max means that's our highest points in general of the area and therefore any value of x after negative four we're moving downwards now if we had a, a, a point where move, uh, once and we keep moving to the right and moving downwards we will know we're going to stop because when we're going back upwards and then, then we have a relative min so our relative min is going to be at five so our relative max is x equals negative four our relative min is five so it's kind of like you're going from top all the way down and then move back up again all right, so here, so our shape of the graph, here's our relative max, here's our relative min, 
and therefore it looks like this piece of the graph is when the function is decreasing and therefore we say in this case okay well it kind of looks like our value of when the function is decreasing so in this case we're going to say that's because you know, do this a little, ni a little nicer we're going to say the function is decreasing from now negative four but less than but not equal to but not equal to x is less than five and these are the x values okay why because this interval this interval is between a relative max to the left and a relative min to the right relative that would mean to the right and so you know anytime you have a, a relative max relative min, in, in between that no there's no other relative extrema that occur we call it extrema because it's either highest or lowest uh then we know in this case that we're going to have either the function increase or decreasing your relative max to the left relative min to the right that interval between will be when the function is decreasing if we have a relative min to the left and a relative max to the right and those no, and no other extreme between we will say the function is increasing along the interval okay that's part a now for part b state the interval which f of x is less than zero and so when they say less than zero they're talking about negative y values so negative y values so here we have f of x where is f of x negative it's got to be between the zeros all right and so we see in this case we have a zero here and a zero here and that's at x equals negative one and positive seven all right and so we will say for part b okay the function f of x oops it is less than zero in the interval and so the leftmost x value that is a, is a, is a zero is negative one okay so negative one is less than x is less than the rightmost x value which is seven and so it's not just the fact that it's just between two root two roots or two zeros it is because of the fact that we see the y values are between what lies between x equals negative one and x equals seven have negative y values negative f, f of x equals negative and or less than zero so we see in this case uh in that interval if we in, and we can also say that between negative seven x equals, negative seven less equals negative one the function is greater than zero same way that f of x is uh is greater than zero when five is less than x is less than 10. all right so we so identifying these pertinent points is really helpful to us Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our final question for the home review. Hope you guys found these found the work helpful. I'll make this a uh, full screen here. Um, again, if you've helped, if you found uh, the work helpful and you know explanations, then please give this video a like. Also, if you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Leave comments or questions in the chat section so that I know. Hey, uh, if you want to explore any more questions and all, uh, any comments, if I made an error because I sometimes do, you know just to be able so yeah, I would definitely appreciate any help you would have all right so anyway I will I will uh, end this video and hope to see you guys in the next one we start a new unit in this case okay thanks so much for watching take care and be safe